When you first come in the league, the vets tell you, they say, young fella, it's going to go by fast. You think at that time, I'm just getting started. As I, as I stand here today, September 16th, roughly 1.15 p.m., I'm here to tell you, it goes by fast. It's been a tough summer. This has been a summer for me that not a lot of athletes want to see this time come. Well, you have to decide if you want to continue to play the game that you love. Continue to play the game that you played for, for me, 31 years. Since I was five. Or if you want to walk away. If you want to do something else. If you want to clear the path and let the next generation come. And it's a lot of emotions that go with that. You ask yourself so many questions. You're like, can I physically do it? Can I physically get out of bed every day to do this? Can I deal with every step hurting in the morning? Can I deal with the travel? Can I be away from my family? Is it selfish of me wanting to continue to be away from my family? Can I miss my son games? Can I miss my son? Can I not be there in moments that they need me? Can I not read to my kids as much as I want? Can I not be there to support my wife? It's all these things, and these things to you guys may seem small, but to me they are real. I feel like my family have put me first for so many years, for good reasons. But I feel like it comes a point in time where we all gotta think about someone else, and especially the ones around you that have supported you, supported your dreams, supported your journey, like my family have. I'll give you all a quick run through of my life. A lot of you guys see me as a three-time champion, a 12-time All-Star, a, a Olympic gold medalist. But what y'all didn't see is y'all didn't see that kid that no one seen because he was small, because he couldn't shoot as good as everybody else, because he wasn't athletic as everybody else, because he was from the inner city of Chicago, because he lived in a town called Robbins, Illinois. Y'all didn't see that person. Y'all didn't see the grind. Y'all didn't see the, the tears. Y'all didn't see the moments where it just looked like it, it wouldn't happen. So everybody have these ideas of who I supposed to be and what I supposed to be and how I supposed to be it. I didn't have those ideas. I just had a dream of, of being in the NBA. And man, as I sit here 15 years later, how did I end up having a career and a life so far in this game of basketball that I've had? I didn't play varsity until my junior year. I wasn't good enough to play because I didn't play. I had three scholarship offers to go to school. Three and a half, I had a partial one to another school. I had to sit out my first year when I went to college. I couldn't play. I got drafted fifth in the NBA draft in 2003, but it wasn't about me. But I worked. I believed. I believed that if I put the work in, if I laid it all out there, if I gave everything to this game, I can walk away from this game with my head up high. And people along the way, along this journey, told me, young fella, you can't keep playing that way. You can't keep playing that way. You're not going to last long. And maybe they right. Maybe they was right. Maybe if I would have became more of a jump shooter, if I became more of this, I wouldn't be sitting here at 36 years old asking myself, do I want to walk away from this game? But that's not me. You guys know me, when I'm into something, when I believe in something, I go 110% into it. And that's what I did. So I gave my body up. I gave my, my county up. I gave my money up. I gave everything up to, to, to get to that dream, that goal that I always wanted to get to. And that's the feeling of being a champion. That's the feeling of being a part of something that's bigger than you. I've always wanted that from where I grew up in the inner city of Chicago. I always wanted to be a part of something that was bigger than me. 
And this game has been that. It's been bigger than me. It's been bigger than how many points I can score. It's been bigger than how many times I hear my name in the starting lineup. It's been bigger than, it's been bigger than. So, as I stand in front of this camera today, as I talk with nobody in this room, I'm talking to you guys, I'm talking to my fans, and I want to say, along the journey, the people that supported me before the world knew me, thank you. The ones that push me when I'm down, the ones that tell me I can keep doing it. My family, my wife, my mom, my sister, my, so forth and so on, thank you. But I also want to thank my fans along this journey, the ones that got a chance to know me, the ones that's tried to get a chance to know me. Thank you guys for the love, man. Like, Wade County, I have a county. A lot of you guys don't know because y'all look at us as superheroes. Kids look at you as superheroes. You guys see us on TV, y'all look at us as, as superheroes, but we're human. I lost somebody very important in my life. And when I lost, when I lost Hank, I lost a part of me. You know, I, I lost a part of the joy in the game of basketball. From a kid, we always play to make people proud. You want your mom proud, you want your dad proud. You know, at one point I wanted my older brother proud. When Hank came in my life, I wanted Hank to be proud of me. Proud of this journey. And with him not being there last year, that was it. I lost something from this game. And me getting traded back to Miami, it helped. But it wasn't enough. Dang. <laughs> so this decision is bigger than the game of basketball. This decision don't have nothing to do with the talent that I have in my body. Yeah, I'm not as quick as I used to be. Yeah, I don't jump as high as I used to. And boy, I used to get up. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. But it's things in this game that I have that I can write a book on, that I can still do and I can still accomplish with an organization, with a team, with the right individual, with the right coach, in the right situation. But it's a lot of things you guys don't know that we deal with. And I have dealt with this summer to make this decision. And this is the hardest decision that I've ever had to make. But it's one of the best decisions that I've had to make as well. To be in this position, to be in this position that I'm in, to have the career that I've had, I can't do nothing but smile on it. I can't do nothing but just enjoy it like I've had. So this decision is not easy. It's not. And I've asked myself why and why not. And what and what not and all these things. And I've heard everything from my family to my fans around the world of what I should and shouldn't do. But I've always did things my way. Whether they've been good or whether they've been bad, I got here because I've done things the way that I feel is right for me and that was right for my family. And what I feel is right I feel it's right to ask you guys to join me for one last dance, for one last season. This is it. I've given this game everything that I have, and I'm happy about that. And I'm going to give it for one last season, everything else I have left. And when I walk away, I'm still going to love it. I'm still going to want to play it. I'm still going to miss the playoff moments. I'm still going to miss the crowd cheering my name. I'm still going to miss 20,000 booing for me. I said born for me because that's what they're doing. But I ask y'all, let's enjoy it. Let's have some joy through this last season. Let's push this young team over the hump. And let's write our own story to the end of this career together. Together. Season 1-6, internally we call it Sweet 16. It's coming to an arena. Real soon.